Hi guys and welcome to Motor Scotty. If you haven't already watched part one of this series on how to find the fiber parts for your kit conversion, click on the link in the corner or in the description box to watch part one. Now moving on to the Knight Rider specific parts. A very easy and helpful way of uh, finding good vendors is to join one of the reputable Facebook groups. I joined, for instance, the Facebook group Knight Rider Kit Replica Foundation. It's an absolutely no drama Facebook group where the admin has listed a list of vendors that have a clean record because not all of them do. And you can basically just discuss about your own progress of your kit replica and uh, post some pictures or videos and uh, just give some information about what, how your experiences have been with uh, one or the other vendor. I don't really post a lot of stuff on there because, well, I have my own Facebook group and I hope for people to <laughs> land on that page too. But my point is that I'll go and see what experiences people have had with their conversion parts and with their vendors. And it's also always good to ask questions there. So go check out Knight Rider Kit Replica Foundation Facebook group. You'll see all the vendors there. I'm just gonna mention a few of those vendors based on my own experience I've had with them. Let's start with Knight Passions. Knight Passions is a kit replica parts company based in the Netherlands. They make uh, everything from uh, different front bumper styles, different different season styles to uh, dashboards. That's the main thing, like uh, switch pods and then gull wings and uh, hubcaps also for the turbo gas rims and maybe another couple of miscellaneous pieces like uh, kit and car keychains and all of that so they are in the netherlands and they make really good really good uh, parts i mean i have on my kit i have the uh, second season front nose and since we are very particular about safety also and then homologation in switzerland if you uh, look back at my instagram about uh, the homologation process I did have to make actually a crash test of that material. So not the actual bump recover, but uh, Joao from Night Passions gave me a, a material sample and they cracked it and they said that this was of optimal quality fiberglass because it doesn't leave you any splinters in uh, on the skin if you break it and go over you with your hand. So that's really good. Not only is the fit and finish really good, but also the material quality is excellent. And communication with Jao has always been great. I bought the front bumper from Night Passions and then also a set of hubcaps. And then I lost uh, one hubcap because I didn't tie them down with the zip ties. And he made sure to send me a new one right away. He didn't really have one in stock, but then he made sure that he could get one and uh, send it on to me. Then there's Night Designs over in the US. Night design is probably also part state of the art of anything Night Rider related dashboard parts. Founded by Billy Gunter. As far as I'm informed, Night Designs has been sold over to uh, Kid Still Rocks. The guys from uh, Night Rider Historians, Joe Huth and H.G. E. Palmgreen, who kind of work together or are part of Kid Still Rocks now, now also acquired uh, Night Designs this summer. So I'm sure Kid Still Rocks with Night Designs now they obviously want to make sure they keep the same quality product quality as uh, night designs was uh, when it was run by billy gunter i mean i have never seen in person a night design dashboard but on youtube i've seen chris blazius's kit which is an awesome replica go see it if you haven't on his channel still looking around which one i'm going to get which dashboard but that might be a possibility now, if you look at Chris's uh, kit replica, you'll also notice the Mark Brown front bumper, first season, uh, pilot season uh, front bumper, which looks amazing. I've seen it on other replicas from uh, guys over here in Europe, from uh, Germany, who have the Mark Brown front bumper, uh, kit bumper, which looks amazing. And uh, I mean, as I said, I have the Night Passions one, which I really like the Mark Brown bumper is probably just as good. It, like it's, it's up to your taste, but in terms of quality, they're both really good. Now there's a couple of other vendors that uh, I can talk about. Like here in Europe, in Italy, we have uh, Night Rider World, KRW, which sells pretty much anything, anything for your kit replica. So they do have front bumpers, they do have like even the rear bumpers, I believe, like fiberglass uh, rear bumpers, they have fiberglass, fenders, fiberglass, hoods. I'm, I don't have, I haven't bought either of these. 
I'm not so sure about fiberglass fenders and hoods. Like if you want to have it as a show car, I think that's fine if you if if they fit. But to drive at least legally in Europe, I know that's that's a no go. If you want to have it uh, registered and drive, I mean, in terms of crash test and splinters and stuff like that, it's probably going to be quite difficult. But what I did get from uh, Night Rider World were the Trans and Fender Vans insert, which were really good. They fit. I mean, all those fiberglass products which come out of the mold, they always need a little bit of sanding and uh, work on, but they were pretty good. I did also get the uh, rear deflectors that are come just uh, are installed just in front of the um, the rear wheels. And I got they have two, as far as I know, they have two sets. Like they have the standard one and they have the ultimate, like really better, better quality uh, rear deflector. So the standard ones that I bought aren't really that good. I mean, they didn't really fit. And the thing is with fiberglass, you can't really like bend it to shape. You can you can sand it down if that works, but you can't really bend it. It doesn't, it's not gonna fit or it's just gonna crack. Here, what they're really good at is, for instance, this. This is the voice box bezel with all the different uh, lights. And it's, I mean, it's, I suppose it's 3D printed, but I, I, I don't know if it's come, if it's coming out of the mold or if it's 3D printed. Also the 82 uh, shift knob, which I, I got from uh, KRW and just all the uh, several things that you can get for your dashboard. Those are really good quality. I could, I can highly recommend them, buying them from them. And they're really good also with shipping here, at least here in Europe. I'm in Switzerland and Italy, where it's coming from, is in the EU. Usually it takes me two days or it takes the parts two days to land into my mailbox, even if I order late in the evening. Super fast. So KRW also sell dashboards. They have several different, like, pilot season, second season, with or without the speaker cutouts, and they have different dashboards. Just go onto their website and, and then just, uh, or write an email to Giuseppe. He'll get back in touch with you and send you more pictures. They might also be my choice. I'll still have a look around between Night Passions, Night Designs and KRW. Let's see. Anyways, they do this, but then also they sell all kinds of uh, electronics from other vendors. They sell the electronics from uh, ZA Electronica, Alessandro Zani, where you can buy it directly, but they also, at KRW, they, uh, they sell it there also. And they also sell the electronics from Idee Geniali, also Italian. So they're both great. I mean, if you've seen, if you've followed uh, my Instagram, you've seen that I already have the voice box from uh, Idee Geniali. The thing about EDA Genial is that you will probably have to do the wiring itself yourself. With uh, ZA Electronics, it's pretty straightforward. It's plug and play. All the cables are in the package and, you sh and, and, and labeled and you just have to connect the right cables with the right parts of electronics and then put it onto your dashboard. And that's basically plug and play. And with ZA Electronics, you can update the uh, the software, he regularly sends out the uh, software updates for all kinds of new gimmicks on the dashboard with the turbine. But they've built a scanner now, an LED scanner, I believe, only with the uh, CA Electronics. So if you get a CA Electronics uh, scanner, you will have to have the CA Electronics, like the main electronics to connect it to and to uh, make it work. My scanner is from KRW, uh, Nairobi World, again, really good. I had to do a little bit of work to it because the, the lens wouldn't really hold onto the scanner bar itself. I put a, another plate under the, the scanner. I uh, cut one, a metal plate out and, and glued it on and paint the whole thing just so it had an extra lip where the uh, plastic lens could sit on. Anyways, the, what I do like about that scanner is that you have the box and you have the, the speed control and a separate electronic set of electronics, which is the surveillance mode. Because many scanners that you buy, they have the buttons, the on-off buttons, the different modes on the box and the box where you're going to put it. It's going to be visible. It's kind of hit your knees if you just put it, if you screw it onto your dashboard underneath or on the side, on the center console. It's not as discreet as at least I would like to have. So with the Knight Rider World uh, scanner, it's really neat because I put the whole box under the passenger side glove box. Oh, like, I mean, oh, there's the dashboard cover. There's just enough space for that box and then you can do all the wiring and I made myself a little box for the surveillance mode setup. 
which I kind of taped onto the center console and it's very neat. It doesn't take much space and you switch it on and you use your little remote to set up the different modes, kind of movement modes. And that's it. And it's a separate unit. It's not connected to the dashboard electronics. So all in all, Night Rider World, I can highly recommend if you want to buy all kinds of buttons. All the buttons, the, the countdown sequencer, the voice box battle, all the, the buttons for uh, the center console, the upper console, different consoles, they're really, really nice. And then obviously you can get the electronics there and it's, it's easy because it's like a one-stop shop. You can get many parts there, So, but then it's up to you if you want to get everything from there or mix it up with different vendors. There's also Jupiter Electronics, which used to be kind of bigger in the hobby. I've known, I, I know a few that have gone with Jupiter. I've only heard good things about Jupiter Electronics, but I haven't really seen a set myself. So I can't really tell about if, uh, if it's a reliable set of electronics, if it's easy to wire, if they have good customer service, anything about that. I wouldn't be able to say, but I just, I've just heard that uh, from other replica owners that the quality of the Jupiter Electronics is really good. So that's pretty much it. I mean, building a kit is uh, just like any car project. It's never really done, even if you have, well, maybe at some point it is, but you can always go further. I mean, it really comes down to how far you want to go. If you just want to make it a nice drivable outside replica, like, uh, like or partly inside replica, also like uh, I have, which I've spent a lot of money and effort into the, also the mechanics, the paint. Uh, the engine bay and I'm not finished with that and I still don't have a dashboard and all of that but then you can go even further even with all the dashboard and all the consoles you can you can make you can build in the flippable license plate in the back or else in the front if you need to have one in the front take it off I chose an oil slick or or gas or whatnot you want to want to want to add or a second battery in the back or all kinds of gadgets I mean basically you're imagination is the limit anyway guys this is going to be it for this video i i hope it helped you i hope it gave you some insights into where to find the right parts for your kit replica and how to connect yourself with uh, other people if you haven't done so already so leave a like and a comment i'm grateful for any feedback that i can get i'm actually not quite sure about what the next video will be about i have planned to publish the uh, restoration about the steering and suspension as the next video. I might be showing you something else first, but you'll see. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll get a peek about that. Thank you for watching and until next time.